Rose Dawson, is she the most selfish person in the history of the world? She, well, we all know the scene where she's on the door and, you know, there's no room for Jack. And, and Jack goes, okay, okay, you know, I'll just sit here and hang out, you know, I'll, maybe the rescuers will come and I'll be okay. And Rose's like, yeah, yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, that's going to happen, Jack. And, you know, the, the, the door was bigger than the SS Minnow that had seven castaways. And, you know, it seems to me there was enough room in the back seat of that car, Rose, for you and Jack to have sex. But there was not enough room on that door for Jack. No, no. And then the worst part is when the rescuers come and they, is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? And Rose goes, Jack, get off me, Jack. And she takes his hands and she shoves him down to the dark, dark ocean. So poor Jack, you know, he, he sacrificed his life for Rose and Rose didn't really seem to care. Then we move further down in life and Rose has got that, uh, she has the heart of the ocean diamond. It must be worth billions of, of dollars. Okay, millions maybe. But it's worth a lot of money, enough for Bill Paxson to be looking for it. So what does she do with the diamond? She takes the diamond and just throws it into the ocean. Just throws it in the ocean so no one can have it. If, I can, if I'm going to die, this is what she was saying, if I'm going to die, then no one else can have it. I, she could have fed. How many people could she have fed by just selling that diamond? She had the diamond forever. She could have sold that diamond anytime. Oh, there's a bunch of homeless people over there. I'm going to feed these people. I'm going to give this money to an orphanage. No, what does Rose do? What does selfish Rose do? She throws the diamond into the ocean. So no one can have it. And all those poor kids are just going to starve. Thanks, Rose. Great job, Rose. And then she lived to be like 150 years old. You know, she's going around here, going around town, becomes an actress. I'm so successful, blah, blah, blah. You know, but, you know, Jack and the rest of the people that died the Titanic are just sitting there waiting for her going... I don't know. Eventually, she's got to die, right? You know, we're sitting here waiting. You know, <laughs> you know, we're just sitting here by that staircase, just waiting for Rose to come. Come on, Rose, come, come down here and see us. But no, not Rose, not selfish Rose. She just keeps living and living and living and doing what she wants. You know, again, Jack sacrificed his life for you, but you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep living and living. She was at least 150. I've seen the pictures. So at least 150. And so. You know, she finally comes down, here I am, let the party start. You know, and the people are going, God, we've been down here for 140 years. What the hell's going on, Rose? So that's pretty selfish of her. And then, and then the worst part is, about that the whole thing, she was married to some guy named Calvert and had two kids. What what happened to them? Did she just, on her way down to the, uh, you know, to see Jack, she's like, oh, hey, Calvert, hey, kids. Sorry, I got to go see Jack. I, I knew him for a week. So I know you knew me for a long time and we had relationship and we, we were in love and we spent a lot of time together and we had two kids and we have grandkids and all that stuff. But you know what? This guy, he's, he's still hot. Rest my afterlife with this guy, Jack. And that's why I'm, I'm gonna change my name back to Dawson, sorry. So that's my case for Rose being the most selfish person in the history of the world. But that's all I got. I'll be back next week. I'm out of here, bye, thanks.